Lou. How's little Lou doing? No response. <laughs> well, look at that. The child's taking a shine to me. <sighs> you two were out cold, so I had you brought here. You were right. Whatever you did back there returned us to our own world. I put your cargo and gear in your private box. You slept for a whole day, you know. Slept like the dead. <laughs> I'm already back in Capital Knot. Fragile's beach has been coming in handy. <laughs> Sam, I owe you an apology. Lou was the name you were going to give your own baby if he'd had made it. I should have pieced it together sooner. Don't know what you're talking about. I found some records from ten years ago. A death, sudden, in the middle of a town. Young woman in the prime of her life. Nobody knew until it was too late. A boy out. Her husband, who was a member of Bridges, had dooms. He tried, but he couldn't get to her in time. The whole town was wiped off the map, leaving nothing but a big crater and him. Because he was a repatriate. People wanted answers. Did the man hide his wife's body on purpose? The only survivor was the only suspect. He was easy to blame, and people did. And pretty soon, they were blaming Bridges, too. The man felt responsible, so he left. And his wife, who died, her name was Lucy. She'd been pregnant, poor woman. They were going to name their son, Lou. Didn't happen. But it did. President Strand told me. She talked about you all the time. He didn't have to cut all ties and walk away, she said. You wanna shut the fuck up? Calm down, Sam. Take a seat. I told you before about my body. 70% harvested from cadavers. Do you want to know the real reason why? Because the story you've heard is one I made up. The truth is, I'm Frankenstein's monster. Artificial, grown from pluripotent stem cells. And when that vital spark didn't manifest in all my organs, they replaced the defective ones with those of the dead. I never had a birthday. I'm a soulless meat puppet. No ka, a dead man. People born the traditional way have beaches. You have one. BB too. But I have no such connections. No mother. No afterlife. No beach. You see now why I'm so obsessed with it all? Why I joined Bridges? The battlefield. Now that was an awful beach. But strangely, I didn't hate it, because I knew you were coming for me. I've never felt that before. Connected to someone, anyone. You didn't have to cut all ties and walk away. The president was right about that much. Wasn't anything to walk away from. It's not like I was ever welcome there. Come on, even I was welcome. Oh, that. You were holding it. It's an old dog tag. U.S. issue. Wasn't easy prying it out of your hand. Clifford Unger, as you can see. I looked him up in our database. Found a match. He was U.S. Army Special Forces. Fought in Kosovo, Iraq, Afghanistan. That's him. Well, that's all I've managed to dig up so far. 
Uh, you must be caked in chiral matter from the battlefield. Time for a shower, I'd say. Oh, I won't be joining you this time. The Die Hardman issue is no longer a concern. I've seen to it that our conversations won't be recorded. Do you copy? As you might have suspected, time here stopped while you two were on that battlefield. If my thinking is correct, the dimension to which you traveled is a kind of beach. Uh, um, to, to explain a little, our bodies, our ha, all occupy the same world. But our souls, our ka, have beaches all their own. These beaches are given form inside our brains by our beliefs religion, philosophy, and so forth. As a result, a beach can be anything, and those anythings form a multiverse. However, if many people die at once, their beaches can become entangled, creating a strand field. This phenomenon is exacerbated in wartime by omnipresent feelings of resentment and despair. Beaches are more easily and frequently entangled. On such a beach, Exits vanish, and experiences cycle endlessly. Um, picture it like a, a, a record player. The needle skips, playing the same phrase again and again. They're fighting a battle that has no beginning or end. Round and round it goes. Now, the battlefield you visited was in Eastern Europe in World War II. Hmm. Which is strange, given that the man you encountered, uh, Clifford Unger, played no part in that conflict. I can't explain it, but if you can connect me to the Chiral Network, who knows what we might discover. Still there, Sam? If so, I have a request. When you're ready, head upstairs to the delivery terminal. Look 
you. Holy shit. John. Is that you? What are you doing here? My wife's checked in. I don't want to repeat it last year. I'm so sorry. I didn't know.